Okay, this is the bit I sharpened. We're just practicing on plastic. What this is, is that's a bit driver like goes in your drill, you know, or you got that sliding metal piece. And I'll just grab it real quick. This little round snap ring, you can pull it off. I pulled that off. See? Well, that's in a piece of a screwdriver handle. I made it a long time ago. Uh, practicing with my homemade little lathe. Just, just see how good it does on plastic. You can see the little strings flying off there. Now you're starting to see it. Seems all this motor is good for is doing little plastic hobby stuff, model cars, model stuff. I mean, that's what I'm gonna use it for. So I get another motor. After repairing this one, still raining on that. But you get the idea. The thing about plastic, you have mess, but you don't have oil and everything. So I can angle that bit if I want to take a little wider cut. So I may angle it, which I'll do. I'll, I'll put more of an angle so it takes a little wider cut. Then we'll be back. And okay. It's hard to get in there close with this. Because I'm hitting my desk with the tripod. I have to make something special. I did angle it so it gets more of the flat, not the point of the bit. You know, so it gets more flat. So tired of the motor going up and down thing. It's just cheap motor. I mean, I know I could slow it down and it's plastic. I'm not going to do it to wreck this. I already done it on scrap piece. Don't ask me how many thousands that is. But we will go back across and move it in. I really don't like cutting the other way because the bit's angled in. I know it's plastic, but you know what I mean? I really hate coming back across with it angled in like that. It's the opposite way. See? You can't see it, but it's really gouging into it. Because the bit's going in too pointed into the Okay, we'll stop here, and then I will set it, and one more time, and that's it. Okay, this is taking about approximately 3,000. I know them dials are different. Some of your dials will show what you're taking off total. Some dials will show what you're taking off on one side. Without a micrometer, I'm not going to say positive for sure. Just a beginner. But I know there's a difference in the dials. Direct reading and the other one. Some of them show what you're taking off total. Some of them just show what you're taking off that side, how far you're advancing it in. So I went 3,000 on the knob just to see. Of course, I go real fast. It's just plastic. You make a lot of nice stuff out of plastic. There's a great plastic. I can't tell you the name. Sometime I will get something from the company and then I'll mention them. You can get plastic. It's not white plastic. It's gray and it has something in it like fibers that's a real hard material. So you can actually make bushings out of it. Something that does not, not run fast. I'm sure you can make a bushing and a bolt and put it on like a lawnmower wheel or something. Push mower and it's not going to wear out for a long time. It is a good gray plastic and I just cannot tell you the name. Okay, I thought I'd make a little bit of a lathe video with the little wimpy motor on it. Just 
just for the fun of it. So I'm off to finish in this, and I'll take a couple pictures of when I'm done. We'll just stop this real quick. This is the part of the screwdriver handle, so it's opposite. This would have been the top. This way you put your fingers to turn it. Then you put your bit down in there, and you have a little bit driver. So one of my own homemade invention tools. So when I'm done, I'll put it back together and take a couple pictures of it. Thanks for watching. Okay, I thought I'd show what this is. Just a bit holder, but it's stuck in a piece of screwdriver handle. I did take a wider bit, but that dulls the plastic, even though it takes a lot off. This one is so fine, it's, there's no polishing, nothing. This you can still see through the plastic. This is a lot prettier green than what it shows up on camera. It is a darker green the way the light shines through it. That's how you do. It's just a little homemade tool I made. You want to reach down in somewhere and turn a screw, you can hang on to this. Because this is a bit starter, or a bit holder for your drill, and you hold on to this like when you start screws and it spins. Want to see no, show no brand names. But I'll take a couple pictures so you can see how nice the plastic looks. You can see the fine lines in it, but I don't know how to polish plastic. I don't know how to do it. I've tried different compounds and stuff before on plastic and I never can get a shiny finish. So, thanks for watching.